Hey guys, DV here. I got something a little bit different. Um, this is kind of a review showing off and unveiling of Lightworks. Um, basically, Lightworks is an, a revolutionary open source non-linear editor. It opens up the professional video editing software suites to enthusiasts and public users alike. This open source version has been in development for quite some time now, and the beta version was released on November 29, 2010. Having been used by feature films such as Shutter Island and The Departed, in addition to Lightworks being employed by editor Chris Gill and multi-Oscar winning Thelma Schoonmaker, it features native 2K support for RED cameras and many other great features. For now, the software will remain solely for Windows users. This is just a quick video with a first look at Lightworks Beta and the installation of the codecs and video editing software. Please visit editshare.com for more information on the project and lightworksbeta.com to register and download the open source beta. So to get started with the download, go to lightworksbeta.com and register as a member and then you click download for the uh, Lightworks Beta trial or uh, editing suite. And then you can download the codecs as well. So basically I'm just going to walk you through the installation right here. It's a really quick installation, no problems there. Uh, I forget how many megabytes it was, but it wasn't much. Um, so no problem. And then basically what this does is it lets you share files between computers while you're editing. So you have to put in the, a code that's unique to your computer and then you enter it on any other computers that will be running Lightworks um, while you're editing. So that's, that's definitely a useful and very professional feature that is going to be a great addition to this editing suite. And the best part is that it's open source and it's going to be free. Um, so here we're just running through some of the installation files and it jumps up really quick and then it'll be done and ask you to continue. So then you click next and it's finished. So here's some basics to the editing software. I haven't tried it out uh, much yet because I just downloaded it as this video is going. So it's just kind of trial and error here. So I'm setting it to basically what my T2I um, files are like. I'm just naming it beta and opening a new project. So here you can change a lot of the video settings. They have a whole bunch of different ones for PAL, NTSF, 2K, and some of the RED settings as well. And then there's even options for film. Um, you can import from uh, HDV cameras, etc. So here, what I'm doing is importing my MOV files um, from a recent video on my T2i. And this is just going to start the conversion. It's taking a second because I believe these are located on the uh, camera memory card at the moment. So it's taking a second to download, I think. But it only takes a couple of seconds, which isn't bad considering that it's going to be editing in full high definition, the speed is actually really nice. Um, and it's quite an improvement from Vegas and even Premiere CS3, which looks nothing like a professional editor after using this, despite it being simply a beta version. So here you can play a clips in this really cool video player. Um, it's pretty nice. I'm still trying to figure out some of the features, obviously, but you have a pretty cool uh, toolbar off to the side with some different stuff, support for multi-cameras. Um, some cropping tools, different timelines, there's even a calculator on there. You can change the background image of Lightworks. Um, so there's a lot of cool features and I'm really looking forward to using this and I can't wait for it to come out in the full version. So here you can see the four different clips. It's pretty nice. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it look like those images you saw at the beginning for Shutter Island, but we'll get to that soon. So here are some links for downloading. Enjoy the software and don't forget to subscribe. Peace guys.